good morning guys welcome to today's video today we have a lot going on you guys know elizabeth slept over last night let's go find them and see how the night went girls are making breakfast bagels and cream cheese how did it go last night in the trailer they slept I mean, in the trailer I had a good time sophie was just whining and saying it's too cold really sophie was I whining had, it I was, was too cold to in the trailer and i switched he spots to her because it was warmer because she didn't get it are you trying to say sophie's whiny and a yes, complainer. I am. Well, she was that <laughs> Well, she kind of is. Anyways, welcome to today's video where we celebrate Sophie's birthday. If you guys didn't see last night, we, I think last night, we were so far behind on videos. We posted a video of when we went to a scary mansion. How was it, Sophie? The scary man, or the scary maze. Um, I told the kid that I have a knife, too. <laughs> and I poked myself. With so you didn't scream? Head. You weren't scared at all? Oh, she was. Oh, I was not <laughs> Elizabeth. I know. I, I went around a corner and I saw Sophie holding onto Elizabeth's arm for dear life. Elizabeth, did you scream? Yeah. <laughs> I made her scream. Yeah, I know. Yeah, she made me scream. Kaylee She's made me than scream. Than oh, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we did that last night because Gabby loves scary stuff. If you saw the video, you will see Gabby skipping along. And that, like, who skips through a haunted maze? But anyway, welcome to today. Today is Sophie's birthday surprise party. Well, not really a surprise party, but her surprise, no, her trail ride. You guys know that in the fall, for the fall birthdays, we love to go uh, trail riding. In here, so Elizabeth, I have a question for you. Here it is. Just wait, let's close the cupboard so that people aren't distracted. Okay. What is more fun? going around and around in the arena, learning all to sit and, and put your feet, your heels down and hold your hands or racing through the woods. Racing through the woods. Racing through the woods. Sophie. I'm running a pregnant mare. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Sophie has a heart like mine. Sophie's mare. Elizabeth's sad about it too. Are you requested her. I, I forgot no, she was I, pregnant. I reminded her out there, I'm like, oh, the last time we went and uh, rode in the summer camp, she was pr just pregnant or whatever. So I'm like, oh, she must be really pregnant now. And then Sophie's like, oh, I don't want to ride her anymore. All right, well. Would you guys do the same thing? I would, even though it's wrong. Like, well, good today. <laughs> so uh, Sophie's not going to be jumping this mare. Well, maybe she will be. Sophie's not going to be... Doing anything awful with this mare and she only just got pregnant this summer and it takes almost a whole year for a, for a horse to give birth like it takes a long time so she's just pregnant and it's good for mares and women to exercise and do all the same things that they're used to doing but Sophie like me has an aversion to causing pain or discomfort to anybody and so she woke up this morning and was like, I am not riding that horse because she's pregnant. Can't ride a pregnant horse, but you can ride a pregnant horse. When we get there, when we get there, we will ask if you can change horses, okay? Uh -oh. But I am not riding a pregnant mare. <laughs> I would not either. I am no. not riding. Okay, so why? I tell the people, Sylvie, why are you drinking? I'd rather ride the gray than the pregnant mare. That was like five miles Good behind hell. everyone. Me and Gabby galloping up the hill. We look back and can't even see Sophie. <laughs> <laughs> it's her birthday and she better not get left behind today so it's either get left behind or ride the pregnant mare right get left behind. <laughs> okay so we're gonna trust camilla and if she says it's fine to ride the pregnant mare then we will ride the pregnant mare because somebody has to ride her and so be you're a gentle kind rider would you, I rather, am? would you rather gabby go on the gentle mare or go on the I pregnant mare i picked mateo to tell him to go and he balked. What? <laughs> he threw a bucking fit. <laughs> She's oh, like, yeah, I, I will save you. There Wait, will be what? nobody bucking my girl. <laughs> girl. She's so cute. She's so cute. I wish she was hearing, but I mean, if she can't be, she's wonderful. I mean, like, I taught her a bunch of stuff. Yeah, she knows, she knows, stuff. knows a bunch of stuff. Same. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened? So I went da down there, and then I cleaned up all the poo, but Sam helped me. In the arena, because he felt bad that you were, like, just kindly doing that? Oh, I love it. You are adopted. Set, out the, set up the whole thing. You are officially adopted. 
to clean up our arena. And Wesley in news on the day by day farm. Gabby is getting ready. Um, so yeah, that's where she is getting ready. Today marks one year of Penny. 365 days of having Penny. It's been a year since I had Penny. There'll be no sitting down eating breakfast. We have a lot to do. Just joking. Suck it up, buttercup. Suck it up, buttercup. <laughs> Elizabeth was complaining that she's gonna be sick that she didn't eat. <laughs> Way to embarrass your friend online. You embarrass me. <laughs> well, equal is equal. Elizabeth, anytime you're here and you're hungry, you say, Laura, I'm getting something to eat. What do you have? Don't wait for Sophie and me. I was telling her, let's go and try out the food. No, you're like, let's go play golf. Go. <laughs> I'm she's got no excuse. Well, this is odd. They're not a, there's not a single horse in the field, and I didn't have to help bring them in. There's a cute butt. Oh my goodness, I am frozen. It is actually quite chilly out here, and they have the door open. And I opened this door. Not safe. So what do you think of the new saddle? I like it. You like it? Oh, you're not completely, I mean, it's a bit small. But you like it in the yeah. stirrups? I like it better than the western. Yeah, it's nice. So we got a new saddle. If you guys didn't see, we got a new saddle from Brandon. Poor Gracie. She's got her bridle. Is this her bridle? Where'd we get this bridle? I don't know. I asked Sophie if that's her bridle. Is this Finn's old bridle? Whose bridle is this? Gracie's. Where'd we get it? We bought it for her? Yes. Wow, well, we're so nice. <laughs> we bought so much stuff over the years. I don't even know what we have. It's nice though, like it's got the one piece. That's nice, Gracie, you be fancy. Gracie's fancy, look at how fancy. You did a good job brushing her hair. Well, sort well, of, a, a little bit of rocks. That's like what was on uh, Buddy's, Buddy's belly. Belly, yeah. Oh, so, um, Hi, Pen. they locked you out? It's okay, I'll be down, I'll be back. Oh, rude. So what you're saying is that you brought one horse in, left the other two in, and one escaped the fence? Yeah. So basically what you're saying is that the reason that she stays in the bar, in the field all the time is just because her friends are there, like she doesn't ever have to? Yeah, dad will have to fix that for sure. Are you going to stay down here with her? No, I'm going back up to the house because they want to go and do some stuff with Chino. Are you guys okay to ride and practice and stuff? Is someone going to stay in this house? Yeah, I'm going to stay here at the house. I have some stuff to do. But, I mean, remember Kaylee and Gabby used to be at this age? 13? And riding Gracie She's around? 12. She's about almost 13, a month away from 13. I believe in you. I trust in you. You guys got this. This is what they have set up. Right? Uh -huh. And Gracie's been doing so fabulous, you guys. There was a time I would never trust the girls alone in the barn to ride. But I do now because they're inside. It's just a tiny arena. And it's not like anybody's gonna knock on wood. Famous last words get hurt, but I believe in them. I know that all of them, even Gabby and Kaylee, uh, only do like things that they know that are safe for the horse and safe for them. So I'm leaving them. Now I gotta go look for Tino. And we already know where he is. So look for Tino, but we already know where he is because we passed by the big field and that's where he's at. He's at the big field. Chino ended up being right there. In the big pile of... Hey. Anyways, we're gonna bring him in. You have hey. to bring him in? I thought we were doing it out there. No, no, bring him in, because he got time and cross ties, get his bell boots on. That's why I was wondering why you're bringing everything. Gabby wants to do it the lazy mazy way. Just leave it all there and grab a lead rope and stuff. Have to bring him in. Let's see if he comes to me. Let's see if he comes. Chino! Hey Chino! Come on buddy! I got a surprise for you. Good surprise! You gotta come to see what it is. He's just looking at us. He's like, I don't wanna come. <laughs> I don't want your surprise. How do I get across? Oh yeah, and Gabby never 
brings her boots, so she's got to go that way. Through the pile. Well, get going. Let's go, man. It wasn't me that didn't bring boots. Uh-oh, Finn's coming. Oh, Finn's coming. Chino's leaving. Hurry, we're on a time crunch here. No, we're not leaving it on. <laughs> Gabby just jumped the moat of mud. Gabby just jumped the moat of mud there and didn't bring her boots. Not smart at all. Not smart at all. Oh, some horses with blankets on already. It's too hot for that. Too hot. Oh, Chino there just went to Gabby. Oh, I lost the bell boot. Yeah, that's why we bought bell boots. Let's hope he didn't lose a shoe. Gabby's going to jump across. Let's see if she falls. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> He's sticking out his foot, getting it on as he clean you. Getting the mud off of it. See, brooms work really well. Yeah, brooms work pretty good, eh? Should have done the other side. There you go, Chino. I'll go get you a treat. You want a treat? You're such a nice boy today. Why is he standing like that? What? He's standing with his foot out like that. <clears throat> That's all right. I wonder if how I was still watching him walk. But he looked like he was walking all right. Might be helping, and I'll be uh, can't video it. And I'm gonna help. So they should be large. So. Yeah, they're extra large, so they should work. Can you get it or what? No. Alright, I'm gonna have to do it. This is the miracle of YouTube. Watch as we put these bell boots on right now. Done! That was quick. My hands are all dirty now because I had to <laughs> put those on. Now we're gonna try on his blanket. Those look pretty snazzy there. They're black, so if you lose them, we won't know where to find them. We won't know where to find him, Chino, if you lose it. Now we're going to try on his blanket. I don't take any tags off just in case it doesn't fit. So we got you an insulated rain sheet, Chino. And the storm's not around to bite it off you, so hopefully they stay for a while. Oh, looking good. Looking good so far. Looking good, Chino. You're looking good a high neck for you. Perfect. The fit. Looks good. There she is. Looking good. All right. Yeah, that's nice. I like how it goes up. I like how these go up this high. High necks. Because she knows it needs a high neck, right? She, he has a neck piece too. There you go. Okay, take it off. We'll just label it. We write our names on it. We write Chino's name on it. I'm gonna get shocked. I'm not touching him. Here, I'll touch you, Chino. There, I touched him. You're on his body. I touched him. The static. Oh, there you go. Good boy. Good boy, you're fine. No, okay, we're good now. <laughs> you're just paranoid over nothing. Here. Oops. I heard it from the blanket. Ointment on them, and then we'll put them back in the field, and then we're done. Got some cuts, we're putting some ointment on, some cuts of his. And uh, so it doesn't get infected. Heals quicker, all that and funky stuff. I'll give you one treat, because you were such a good boy. Such a good boy, yeah. He was actually really good for the farrier the other day and I forgot to vlog, I apologize. Run to camera and we went to get coffee and we were like, <clears throat> fair was supposed to come at seven and we got here at 7.02 <laughs> and he was already there. I thought he was gonna be late, but he was already there. So I was rushed um, and forgot all about the camera. So that happens sometimes. Wait, oh geez, he's all dirty. <laughs> His back is all dirty. What are you doing, rolling? We're rolling. I think those boots are too big. Well, they got them size big, so. Yeah, look how big they are. 
He's like stepping on the on them when they hit the ground. Well, that's good. Is it? All right, Tino, there you go. They're going to step on their shoe. Yeah. That's why they put the bell boots, so they step on that. Yeah, but I think it's, it's too big. It's like walking with uh, long pants and you walk on your pants. It's terrible. I roll up my pants, actually. <laughs> okay, bye. But still. Now, these ones, because they made the pants shorter for summer. All right. See you, Tino. Bye, Finn. That's why they look bye, short. Finn. Finn's Finn looking like, thank goodness it's not me today. Maybe tomorrow. See ya. See you, buddy. That's it. That's all we need to do. You look fat. <laughs> See you later. So I was editing um, the video for tonight, which is going to be our haunted Halloween special. It was so fun last night. Uh, we're eating pizza fast before we go on our on our ride. Gabby, tell me the truth. Are you wearing that white shirt and this vest, and that's it? And my coat. Okay. And you got a coat this time. All right, everybody needs to dress warm. I'm going to get into Cambridge so I can actually talk. Okay. We are having a pizza and getting everything ready. I got the GoPro. I'm going to attach it to Gabby. The pig is adorable. I want a pig now because of her. I love this pig. This one is noisy. I love this pig. It's like it runs, it runs with the horses. Isn't it cool? <laughs> it feels weird. Yeah, it's like really prickly. It's a girl. She's so cute though. Look at her face. I'm, I'm gonna get a pig one day, you guys. All because of this pig. Like, she's so cute. No. I love her. She's like so sweet. Okay, you got. Oh, she's like, don't touch me. Woo! <laughs> and there's a dog in my face. All right. So, you guys know Kate. Oh, Julia, is that your cousin? Hi. I could tell you look the same. Yeah. All right, so Kate is coming with us. Poor Julie is coming another time. Yeah. I want to go. Oh, I know. It's fun. It's like scary. I know, I'm excited. Are you scared? Not really. So you know how you are riding in an arena and like you do all this stuff? Yeah, this I've is... never been trail riding. Oh my God, this is not trail I went, riding. I went trail riding like being led like three years ago. Okay, so this is not trail riding. This is extreme yeah. sporting. This is, Can this you is. Go yeah, I'm you. Go okay, so. This is Elizabeth, and this is Kate. Kate's coming with us. This is Julia, and this is her cousin. Addie. Addie? Yeah. Addie. This is Sophie. You guys know her. They're shy, but that's okay. All right, let's go. Let's go meet your horses, your horse. Your mom's already in there. I gotta put my boots on. All right. I know, it's gonna be cold. Like I try and explain to people, this is not trail riding. This is like... I want to do it, but I was too scared to even canter a horse, but she, 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 my first time I was cantering, she was on the long lead and she <laughs> took so long to do it and she did it faster than Kate. <laughs> right. And she does it with Kate. She's literally the sweetest horse. Is this my horse? Yeah. <laughs> I can never remember. I should have brushed her myself. Oh, Hi. <laughs> Honestly, such a fun ride. I'm, I'm cold now, but I wasn't cold when I was on the horse. There's a point in the ride where um, she said, you guys want to go up the hard hill or the less hard hill? And they were I both really hard. hard. Hill. Easy hill. Yeah. I said hard she hill. said, yeah. You said hard hill? Yeah. And you said easy hill? Mm -hmm. And my horse said, literally, what? my horse literally looked at me, looked at the hills and took a totally different, tried to take a totally different hill. So that is it for another successful ride at the Paso Place, although one person did fall off. <laughs> they're, they're, I don't know. Uh, we didn't even get it on the video. I think. We got it on GoPro, like we didn't no, get it on. No. But anyways, so okay, I just in front of us. Before I'm we end today's lying. before we end today's video, I wanted to say one thing. Last year, I told all of you guys, I said, you know, there is a part in my ride where I do something right and I glide on the horse. It's so natural, so easy. Like I don't even bounce. There's there's nothing. I just sit there and I like I can just sit straight up and it's wonderful. What is it? What am I doing? Because I would do it and I would glide for a couple of strips and then I would not glide again. And nobody, everybody told me some stuff and I was like, some people said like, you're just learning to ride with the horse, move with the horse. But I figured it out. I figured out what it is. I don't think anybody guessed it, but what it is is this. So you guys know Abby from Abby's Life with Horses. I think that's the, her channel's name. It used to be Life with Horses. I think now it's Abby's Life with Horses. But anyways, so I was before our last ride, 
I said to her, like, oh, I get so nervous, I just shove my feet right down in the stirrups. And she said, Laura, you know you're not supposed to shove your feet in the stirrups. You're supposed to put your heels down. And I'm like, yeah, it's the same thing. And she said, no, it's not the same thing. And I said, oh, it's not the same thing. So then I tried what she said, and as soon as I did it, every single thing else fell into place. And now I can ride and be smooth and be like, now it's a totally different thing. You don't put any weight in the stirrups. And people explained that before, but until you get it and then feel how it is, like when you're in a lesson and you do it, you're never going long enough to get a feel for if it's right or wrong but on a trail you're going for so long you can try stuff and get a feel for it so when you have your heels down it you're you stop bracing yourself and it makes you be able to go better with the horse and anyways I can do that now the only thing I have to work on is um, I need to learn how to jump if I'm gonna ride at that place we jumped we went up a hill that was like this and since you're already leaning forward, just like stick your butt out. Yeah. Then we galloped up it, and there was a big jump, and I did not jump it very it well. That big. Yeah, well, it was a big enough jump, bigger than I've ever jumped. Anyways, it was so much fun, you guys. I wish, if my wish for all of you in life, if I could choose one miracle for you, it would be all for you to go to that place and ride at that place. If you've ever ridden there, because a lot of you, some of you guys have ridden there. If you've ever ridden there, then you will know how incredible it is. Look at, I missed it, but we were just coming up over the hill. The dead animal? No, the sun was peeking out and it was so beautiful. Now it's out in full. That's all I gotta say is it for this video. We forgot to have cake for Sophie's birthday. We're gonna have it with her friend and then it just didn't happen. Yeah, we're gonna go get a cake. We're gonna do the GoPro footage of the ride tomorrow. Hopefully it'll be a lot better. I'm gonna watch it when I get home. It should be better. Uh, and that is it. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?